Other stories we're tracking for you, new at 5 tonight. Consumers Energy telling WTOL 11 that last week's ice storm was probably in its top three when it comes to damage and impact. Hundreds of thousands of customers lost power for days after ice coated power lines and substations. They say Hillsdale and Lenaway counties got it the worst. More than 250 crews were doing line work on the electric lines there, and about 45 tree crews were there supporting them. That was 125,000-ish people. Almost half of that first ice storm was in Hillsdale and Lenaway. Just a tremendous amount of damage to be able to restore the backbone circuits and then all the laterals and all the individual services was a tremendous amount of work. Consumers Energy is offering its customers rebates if they lost power. They suggest going to the company website for more information on how to apply. Trent Croce spoke to some of the local businesses in Michigan that really came together and helped each other out as crews worked around the clock to get the lights back on. The aftermath of the storms that took over parts of Michigan can still largely be seen here at places like Ellis Park behind me that turned this skate park into what looks more like a water park now. And while the first responders have restored much power and cleaned up much of those trees from the storm, people forget to think about some of those other first responders, the ones in the bakeries, restaurants and bars providing those other kinds of services to the community. Since the power went off, I want to give back to this community. What do you think? I said, we shook hand, did, let's do it. Johnny Sarkis and Nicole Zielinski would have never guessed two major storms would hit the Blissfield Market and Sports Pizza carry out in the first month they owned it. But it happened. Instead of letting it bring them down, they used the power they fortunately did not lose last week into more power for others with the help of the village's fire department and Toledo's Steel Addictions Tattoo Shop to get the word out about free pizza for first responders and Blissfield residents without Power Friday. We gave away like 193 pizza that day. We went out of door at 6 p.m. People who came here after 6 p.m., we gave them a ticket for a free pizza that they can claim the second day or two. Just down the street, Emmy Bignato with Emmy's Kitchen helped those without power too. Sort of an adverse effect, effect of what we were um, anticipating. We didn't expect to really see anybody in the bakery uh, that day and then um, people were flooding in. People they helped to warm up in their quaint lobby and also other businesses. And since we did have power, we had a few businesses bring their, um, you know, their frozen goods over, um, brought some of their refrigerated goods over, and we, with the limited space that we have, because it's not very big in here. Like the store is not a store without our customers, without our neighborhood. That's what I think. What do you think, Polly? I have to totally agree with that. Consumers Energy still says they're working on getting those hardest hit parts of southern Michigan repaired and they're also sending crews up to north Michigan to get those parts from Monday's storm repaired as well. Reporting in Blissfield, Trent Croce, WTOL 11.